Hello and welcome to my new flight report. Today I am in Vancouver, Canada and I'm flying Air Canada on their Boeing 737 MAX 8 to New York Liberty International Airport in the United States in business class. As in every airport, you're always greeted with the duty-free shop at first. But I'm not here for duty-free shopping, I want to have a good breakfast. So I'm heading for the Maple Leaf launch in this US part of the Vancouver airport. That means that I already immigrated to the United States. I was 20 minutes early, so I had to wait until the launch opened. Launch access is of course available for every business class passenger. I bought my flight today with Euro bonus points from SAS going back to Oslo. My first impression of the launch was that it was quite basic, but the view was great and there was enough seating this early in the morning. The breakfast offer that you see here was quite limited. We had the usual choice of beverages, yogurt, cereals and some baked goods. They also offered some fruit, but the offer was, compared to other launches that I have visited, not that good. But now it's time to leave for my flight. The gate felt a little bit cramped and there was limited seating. Luckily I hadn't to wait long before boarding started. Let's take a look at the facts about my flight. The boarding by groups was well organized and there was no delay in boarding the plane. This was a long way down to the plane. The flight to the east coast of the United States will take about 5 hours and my home is seat 2F at the window. This is also the first time I'm flying a Boeing 737 MAX 8. The legroom in business class was of course great. Everybody had a bottle of water at their seat. And of course there was some storage in the seat in front of you and a footrest. The table for the seat was in the armrest. And you had a coat hanger at the seat in front of you. The seat had also individual light and ventilation. The luggage is still loaded on board so we have to wait some more time. The in-flight entertainment system is in the seat in front of you. I was hoping to find the menu here but the text said that I have to look at the printed version or ask the flight attendant. The screen on the entertainment system was very reactive. And Air Canada offered a good choice of movies and series for the flight. I had to record this video like three times because of announcement that switched off the screen. And of course information about your destination and the duty free shop. The headset offered by Air Canada was working. This is the only good thing I can say about the headset because I like to have my noise cancelling headphones with me. But now it is time for pushback and get on our way to the United States. The weather here in Vancouver is quite amazing, look at this blue sky. Time to say goodbye to Vancouver.
And the federal government of Canada still requires that all passengers over the age of two wear a face mask while on board. And your face covering must be worn at all times, including any moment you are interacting with our cabin crew. And please use the air sickness bag to dispose of your soiled mask. On today's flight, we are offering our Air Canada Bistro service. A variety of food and drinks can be purchased using your credit card. An electronic version of your receipt can be accessed by visiting www.aircanada.com forward slash bistro. Wi-Fi internet service is available on this aircraft. You may connect to the internet by paying with your credit card. Select the AC Wi-Fi network. Then launch your browser and type aircanadawifi.com in the address bar. And to access the Air Canada mobile app or aircanada.com, while on board, complimentary Wi-Fi access available to find trip information and track your flight. In instructions are available on the in-flight entertainment home screen. And please note that the use of voice applications is not permitted in flight. Thank you for choosing Air Canada and enjoy your flight. I got a nice breakfast with pancakes and fruit sauce on top. In addition, some fresh fruit and yogurt and of course a coffee. This flight is not that long, so we got offered some snacks the rest of the flight. And of course, the beverages you wanted. I just had to include a clip of the Rocky Mountains when we flew over them. But now we are already approaching New Jersey.
Welcome to New York Liberty International Airport, New Jersey, United States. It took us some taxiing to get to the gate. I had a very pleasant time flying with Air Canada today. Every time I've flown with Air Canada, I had a good experience and good cruise. Since you clear immigration to the United States in Vancouver, this is like arriving from a domestic flight. But unfortunately I have to say that I don't like this airport. It's convenient, but not much more. To get to my connecting flight with Scandinavian Airlines, I have to use ground transport. The video of my business class experience with Scandinavian Airlines is already uploaded. Take a look at it. Thanks for joining me on my flight report today. And as always, I hope you enjoyed my flight report. If you haven't subscribed yet, this would be a good time to do so. You're also welcome to leave a comment, hit the like button and click the bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next flight or trip report. Until then, remember to travel is to live.